among the variety of services that we offer at the Pasco Tax Collector's Office, one of the most exciting is the issuance of a learner's driver permit. To be able to see the sheer joy and excitement on a face of a customer, the moment they receive their permit in hand is such a wonderful experience. That genuine joy and excitement from the customer is undoubtedly fueled by the fact that the individual had to wait years before this opportunity to finally be available to them. However, despite their extreme patience, they are not simply just given their learner's permit the moment they walk through our doors. There were some procedures that they needed to complete along the way. In this video, we are going to cover the procedures for obtaining a learner's permit, as well as the procedures of the road test that is required to obtain a Florida driver's license. Once an individual reaches 15 years of age, they are immediately eligible to obtain their learner's permit. Their first courses of action are to complete the four-hour traffic law and substance abuse education course, as well as the Class E knowledge exam. The four-hour traffic law and substance abuse education course is exactly as it sounds. It is a four-hour long course that you are to complete online that will educate you on a number of topics. This course must be completed to prior visiting our office as we are not able to offer it in person. The Class E knowledge exam, on the other hand, is available to be taken in our offices if desired. However, taking it in person is not required for those under 18 years of age, as it can be taken online prior to visiting our offices. And once you have passed both of the course and the exam, you are eligible to be issued your learner's permits. For issuance of your learner's permit, you will need to bring in either a birth certificate or an unexpired passport, your social security card, and two pieces of mail or something similar showing your residential address. The mail does not necessarily need to be in your name, it can be in your parents' name. If you are under 18 years old, you'll also need to be accompanied by a parent or legal guardian who will need to sign a parental consent form. The final steps include passing a vision test and certifying some questions, and then you will officially have your very own learner's permit. Now, the steps for road tests somewhat go in hand in hand with the steps for a learner's permit. If you are under 18 years of age, you will need to hold your learner's permit for one full calendar year before you are eligible to obtain your driver's license. If you are over 18 years of age, both the Class E knowledge exam and the road test can be taken the same day. In order to be able to take your road test, you will need to bring in your learner's permit, the vehicle registration, and a valid insurance card on that vehicle. If you are under 18 years of age, you will also need to be accompanied by a parent, legal guardian, or responsible adult over 21 years old to sign that certification of minor driving experience form, which certifies that you have at least 50 hours of driving experience, including 10 hours at night. And once all those requirements have been met, you will then be accompanied by one of our certified agents who will sit alongside you as you drive your vehicle along a course through local roadways. They will observe that you properly complete all the steps required to demonstrate that you are capable of lawfully operating a vehicle. After you pass the road test, you are now officially eligible to receive your Florida license. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the procedures for both learner's permit and the road test. I hope this video proved helpful. And as always, thank you for allowing us to serve you.